Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so very much. Thank you to all of my supporters, everybody who likes, shares, and comments under my videos. You guys are very much appreciated and truly, honestly, a blessing. So thank you so very much for your support. If you are interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, I do actually draw and upload every single day to my Instagram page. So if you're interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm also now on Facebook as well. If you are interested in receiving a private reading, I do actually have my website linked below in the description bar. And lastly, um, be sure to not only watch your sun sign, but your moon sign and your rising sign as well, just to get the most insight into these general um, tarot forecast. So thank you all again, and I hope you all have a great month. Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your March 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising signs. So Aquarius, let's see what the month has in store for you. All right, Aquarius. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Four of Wands, which is my happy home card. So this is wonderful. So Aquarius, you could be spending a lot of time within your home, or perhaps your home is actually just quite significant in the month of March. You could be moving to a new home. You could be decorating your home. You might be spending a lot of time within your home or with your family. Um, this is you having a lot of security uh, within your home, within your family. Things are great on the home front. Um, this is also a card of marriage for me and also um, family gatherings, celebrations, things of that nature. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, Aquarius, so the current energy that I have for you now, this is your current energy. This can be what you're going into the month of March with. I do have the Five of Cups here. And this can be a couple of different things. This can be you feeling some, some pain or just some discontent, some sadness. Or this can be you focusing on the negative things in your life a little bit too more, too much, and you need to maybe focus more on the positive things around you. Now the crossing card, what crosses the Five of Cups is the King of Pentacles. So this can be some Aquariuses, perhaps maybe feeling discontent or feeling sad over a job some sort of maybe job opportunity or just maybe over finances or this could be over a person this could be maybe a virgo a capricorn or a taurus person it doesn't have to be a man but it can be Maybe an earth sign man has maybe hurt your feelings. Maybe you got into a fight with this person. Or, you know, the king of pentacles can represent the home. He, can, he represents career. He represents family. He represents finances. So, you know, because this is a general reading, this can be you maybe being upset over finances or over something to do with the home because I do have the four of wands here at the bottom of the, the deck here. Or, you know, maybe you're upset in regards to this person or maybe something that happened within your career. Now what I have at the foundation is actually the Ace of Cups and this is a lovely card, lovely energy. This was some sort of new beginning that came into your life. A blessing from the heavens. 
something that made your cup runneth over, touched your heart on an emotional level, and just brought you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. So it's, you know, I feel like for some Aquariuses, this could have been maybe the start of a relationship and it could have been maybe with this king of pentacles person and maybe you got into a fight with him or maybe you guys even broke up or something like that um for other aquariuses this might have been a job that you landed previously and it might have been your dream job um you might have loved it but maybe something happened and yeah, now maybe you're experiencing some, some sort of sadness over this job. And this also could be the home as well. Maybe you moved into your dream home, but maybe there's some repairs that need to be done or maybe, you know, something's going on with the home. Now, in the more recent past, I do have the Two of Swords, which is showing me that you had a decision to make. You could have had trouble making this decision, but I see a decision that had to be made. Maybe for some of you, you had to decide to sell your house. Maybe, you know, you didn't want to sell your house. And I go there because we have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so... What's crowning you and what you're thinking about is the Ace of Pentacles. So you can be thinking about money or thinking about a new beginning, a new financial opportunity perhaps. Maybe some of you did decide to sell your house and you're thinking about the money that's going to come in for your home. Or maybe you do have some repairs that need to be made on the house and you're thinking about the money that you have to spend on your home. And then I, I think other Aquariuses are thinking about maybe getting a new job. For some of you, this can be a job that maybe isn't going well. Maybe you're just not happy working at this place anymore, and so you're thinking about a new job. You're thinking about, yeah, starting with a new company, perhaps. Because I see you manifesting something coming up in the near future. You have the magician. So this is you almost taking control of the situation, deciding that you're not going to let it get you down anymore, and you're going to do something about it. This is you realizing that you have all the tools and all the resources to be able to create a new beginning for yourself. Whatever it is that your heart desires, this is you being empowered, taking control, and just creating something new. I love it. So, in the position of your power, I do have the Two of Cups here. So this can be you growing closer with somebody else. This can be a friend. This can be a partner, a romantic partner. This is you getting to know someone else on a deeper level. Now, because this is a general reading, for some of you, this can be a business partner. And then for others, this is going to be you and maybe your romantic partner um, just getting uh, closer or getting to know each other on a deeper level. This is on an emotional level. So you guys are, you know, there's deeper feelings now with the Two of Cups versus, let's say, the lovers. Um, this is the relationship getting taken up a notch. So you guys are bonding. You guys are actually growing closer and, and, and developing deeper feelings for one, of, one another. So if this is romantic, this can be you just getting to know your partner on a more romantic, deeper level. And maybe your partner is helping you with this situation. Maybe this is, you know, something to do with the career. And this can be your partner maybe helping you um, with this situation. Now, how other people around you are viewing you, I have the Ten of Wands, which can be, you know, this can be you being just incredibly busy at this time. People can view you as literally maybe having too much on your plate, having too much on your back, being overwhelmed, dealing with too much. Um, I will pull this card when someone simply is working too much. So, you know, maybe you are working incredibly hard on finding a new job or 
maybe you want to move maybe you want to move to a new home so you might be working a lot trying to save money to to be able to buy a new home now in your hopes and fears I do have the ace of wands so this is you definitely wanting that new beginning this is you being passionate and, and hoping for maybe the opportunity to start something new. Go after your passions, go after your dreams. Now the final outcome, I do have the Five of Wands, which can be petty arguments, petty conflicts, having differences of opinion with another person or people. I can see this card as coworkers sometimes negative people, people who are jealous. But I did pull some additional clarity cards. This also can be competition around you within the workplace. So if you are looking for another job, this simply could be a lot of um, competitors around you maybe going after that same position that you want. I did pull the Three of Wands which is a great card. This is expansion and growth. So this is you working extremely hard to get things to um, grow in your lives, um, to expand and grow to new levels. This is things taking root, but there is more work that needs to be done. I do have the Knight of Cups here, which can be an offer coming in this also can be a person coming in as well for some of you. Um, and I do see the Knight of Cups sometimes as an energy of you just simply moving towards your happiness, your emotional abundance. And then I pulled the Queen of Swords. So this is definitely your energy, Aquarius. I feel like there's something you have your eye on. And, and it's in regards to things within your life growing and expanding to new levels so for some of you this is going to be within the work environment you want more maybe you want to move up within the company that you're working in perhaps um, you know you do have a lot of competition around you maybe you are dealing with some co-workers that maybe you just don't get along with or maybe they you know they are people who are jealous or just people you simply do not like um, but I do see an offer coming in and if this isn't an offer for you this is you moving towards your happiness I feel like you're very focused on moving towards your happiness you're, there's something that you're focused on and you got to remember that you know what I have coming up this could be around the second week of the month we have the magician here so you are manifesting something it's almost like you're sick of this energy of the Five of Cups. You, you're, you're leaving this behind. You want new beginnings within your life. You're passionate about something. You could be working with a friend or a business partner or even, you know, your, your romantic partner here. Someone could be helping you maybe, um, you know, with this process or someone just might have your back with this. For me, the Two of Cups can really be just about anybody that you're spending more time with, you're getting to know them more, it can be a person helping you. Um, but overall, I think it's going to be a great month. I see that you made a decision with something in the past. Um, I see that you, you definitely had a blessing from the heavens uh, come in for you. You had some, some sort of beautiful new beginning that, that happened within your life lives this could have been like a baby being born this could have been you know the start of a new relationship this could this could be honestly just about anything you could have purchased a new home but there's something going on this is the energy i feel like you're entering the month of march with but this is not going to linger this is not going to last long so so definitely don't let it bother you other than this um People may see you as being overworked or having too much on your plate. You might need to ask for help in regards to, um, you know, maybe lightening your load. This can be you just wanting to take care of, you know, all of your responsibilities on your own. 
Um, but other than that, you have some beautiful cards. You're definitely going to be growing closer to someone here, someone else um, that is very significant within your life. Um, you have the magician here. I think that things on the home front for you are are really good. You're thinking about new beginnings. You have the Ace of Pentacles crowning you. So you have money on the mind. You have new beginnings on your mind. With the Queen of Swords, um, you know, she's my she's my warrior queen and she always comes out a victor. So whatever you, you you're focused on, Aquarius, you have a very good chance at achieving this. So I do love your energy. I am going to draw you an additional guidance card for the month of March for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know for the month of March? All right. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Beautiful. Notice the signs, Aquarius. So I feel like for a good number of Aquariuses, you're receiving this card because of maybe what you're going through currently. And you're not alone. This is your angels and your spirit guides coming through for you strongly, actually, Aquarius, telling you to notice the signs. Look for um, feathers, coins, sometimes, um, oh, it can be so many different things. I personally notice birds, 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 birds everywhere. They cross my path wherever I go. So, um, you know, it can be so many different things, but... Just look for them signs and just know that you are always, always, always in the presence of your angels and your spirit guides and they are helping you and they love you very much. So definitely um, enjoy your month, Aquarius. Notice the signs. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have a great month of March. Take care.